Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to my channel, my dear friends. My name is Afi. Last year, I'm a trader next door. In this video, I'll be analyzing the chart of GBP, JPY, British Pound, Japanese Yen. So if you're watching my videos for the first time, then please subscribe to my channel for regular market analysis and do check out the Forex analysis playlist on my YouTube channel for the analysis of other pairs like Euro, USD, GBP, USD, Gold, USD and many more. So let's get started. So this is the photo chart of GP JPY in front of us right now and as you can see that after this huge uprun, okay, market is finally showing some kind of retracement. Yesterday I told you that we have a flag pattern present and in case market breaks the flag we can take a buy. Personally I took a buy yesterday and hopefully you also took the buy shot and you made some good profit but right now you can see that some kind of correction is going on gbp jpy so let's try to understand what is our next strategy first of all i would like to take you to the currency strike meter today you can see jpy is the strongest currency of the day so if jpy is the strongest currency then definitely we will see most of the jpy pairs under pressure to be honest, uh, fundamentally right now, JPY should be uh, should be under pressure. But today, JPY is the strongest currency. So therefore, you must be very, very careful while taking any buy position on currency pairs like USD JPY, GBP JPY. Because JPY is the strongest. Okay. So be careful. And if I take you to the Forex sentiment meter here, you will find it on my website, avilashhazarika.com under the Forex 101 section. In the GBP JPY, you can see that 84% retail traders have taken short position and only 15%, only 15% have taken buy position. And we all know it very well that market always moves against the sentiment of the retail traders because 90% retail traders lose money. But one thing that you must focus here is that see where they have taken short position, they have taken short position at 152 level. Okay, and right now market is uh, trading at 156.82. As we all know, when a trade goes against us, uh, the new traders, beginners, we do not exit from the market. We mm -hmm. keep on hoping that the market will be in our favor again. We just keep on hoping, hoping, and as a result, we are in loss. So this sentiment, make, this sentiment meter is not for today. Okay, yes market always move against the sentiment meter but this price is not for today or tomorrow okay this is showing some uh, the overall sentiment of the gp jpy chart right now okay so be careful so for today and tomorrow um, consult the currency strength meter and at least for today keep in mind that jpy is the strongest currency so as a result Taking a buy position in this level is not a very good decision. Okay, you can see that I have made a black line here. <laughs> black line, it means that it, it is a minor support. Okay, it is a minor support. Where is the minor support? We have a minor support at 156.60 to 156.50. This is a minor support in the market. But Considering the strength of JPY for today, I think that taking a buy position in this level is not a good idea at all. If market bounces also, if you want to take a buy, that's your personal decision. But at least I will not suggest you to take a buy. Okay, so especially beginners, new traders, those who cannot afford to take any risk right now, you should not be taking buy at this level. And if market breaks also, okay, if market breaks this level, you see market going down. You can take a sell position, but that is also a highly risky call. So if you want to take a sell below this level, that's your personal decision. But if you are looking for safe entry into the market, okay, if you are looking for only safe positions on GBP, JPY, then that is buy at retracement. Buy at retracement is the only safe trading opportunity for traders who do not want to take much risk in the market or GBP JPY right now and that level is 155.60 to 155.60 to 155 level 155.60 and 155 155.60 is a safe buy entry for GBP JPY because the reason is that it is a Fibonacci retracement level 
this is our first Fibonacci retracement level so there is a possibility of market bouncing from this level if market bounces for 155.60 level we can take a buy in case market fails to take um, fails to bounce from this level then the next level to enter in GBP JPY is 155 okay so these two are the levels if you are looking for only safe trading opportunities in fact personally if it comes down to this level I will also trade but I will not take a buy position here or if it breaks also this black line or 156.50 level I'll also not take a sell position because I'm not in the mood of taking risk and when there are plenty of opportunities in the market why should I risk my money on a chart that is going against the trend isn't it so that's your personal decision but I'll suggest that this is the best trading opportunity on the GPJPY chart rest depends on you so hopefully you have understood if you have liked the video and found the video informative give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for regular market analysis bye bye take care see ya tomorrow